you're going to want to conduct your searches in morphology version, not in your inflected, inflected forms. Okay. But knowing the difference between inflected and morphology is very crucial to using <coughs> sidewalks. It's going to open up doors to using tools like you can't imagine. So you want to do get this concept down. So now I'm, I'm, I take the, the dilemma. So I know A G A P A W agapao. I take the at sign. And now, it ha remember all those codes we looked at in the help file? Well, you don't really have to go through all those. It can be helpful sometimes to do that. But here it, it says, okay, which, what do you want to search for here? So it has now. So I can select now. And it just turned red. Why did it turn red? Because that's a verb. It's a verb, yes, it's not a noun. There is no noun lemma agapapo. There's a noun lemma agape, but not agapapo. So I'm going to do a backspace here and bring back, and it's a verb. So I'm going to select verb. Or I can type the letter V. It'd be easier to the one. Okay? And now it automatically takes me to my next step. I've identified it's a verb. Now, do I want it indicative, subjunctive, optative? What, what do I want for this? Okay, now I can select indicative. Wow. Now, do I want present, imperfect, future? Let's just select present. From an active, middle, passive. Let's go, let's go with active. First person, I can select that. Singular, and now it ends up, um, it closed out that helper, that's a little morphology helper. But one thing you want to get in the habit of doing, put an asterisk at the end. If there are any following codes, it's, it's like a word. Uh, if we are looking for the word uh, hope, but we type it H-O-P, you're never going to find it, right? Because it's only a partial word. These morphological codes are part of the word in a morphological version. You have to account for all of them. If I, if I, I'm going to backspace here. If I type agapao at vi, verb indicative, and I try to hit enter, okay. it's going to tell me I cannot find this. Because there is no such word, agapao at verb indicative, that does not have any of the other elements. There is no such thing. You can't write it. There is no such reflected form. So, so that's an error. I'm going to go my arrow up again on the command line, bring you back up again, and uh, I'm going to backspace, okay, indicative, present, active, first person, singular, and then type the, the asterisk. That'll, that'll keep you out of trouble a lot of times. Okay? Everybody following with what I did there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I hit enter, and there's all my forms of it. Okay? By the way, it's a lot easier. It's easier to remember how to type the dilemma than it is all of these inflection forms. Mm -hmm. Now, say I want to have active and passive, just active and passive. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put in that bracket. And I'm going to type the A, and I'm going to type the P for passive, and I'm going to close out the bracket, and now it continues up with the first person again at the same time. And I'm going to put in that asterisk once again and hit enter. And now I've, now here I have also uh, additional hits now. I have both active and I have passive. So the brackets also work in morphology. So it's not just in you know, words themselves, but it's also in the morphology that you put wild cards. That's pretty nice. So here I'm going to go back here a little bit. And if I want verb indicative, present, and I don't care if it's active, middle, passive. I don't care if it's first or second person. None of that matters to me. I'm going to put my asterisk and hit enter. Now I find all of the indicative presence of that lemma. Huh. So wild cards are extremely powerful in the morphology. Everybody tracking with me? Any, any questions on that? I'm going to look to soak on that. This is, this is great. So, Got to get the download to complete. This opens up a lot of possibilities. Let me go one step Talk further with it. Fast. Remember, we're talking, the whole word is lemma at codes. That's, that's the whole word. And you can put, remember how we can put the wild card at the beginning of the word, middle of the word, end of the word? Mm -hmm. You can do the same thing here. They can put it, the wild cards can go in the lemma or they can go in the codes. We just showed how you can put it in the codes. Well, let's put it into the lemma this time. So I'm just going to clear my command line, period, asterisk, at. And now let's find all the verb, indicative, present, active, first person singulars. Okay, and hit the asterisk. So now I'm finding all lemmas that have that inflected form and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to go back to the words tab once again. <laughs> 
and here's my, my words tab. So I have all of my 252 words that have a present active indicative first person singular form in the whole of the Septuagint and New Testament. Try doing that in Strong's. <laughs> and what's, what's, what's the word count there? Does this give it? I just uh, at the very bottom here, um, I have 1,576 hits in 1,392 verses, 256 forms. Just curious. Yep. So you can use the, the wild cards in either the lemma or the code spot, and you can do a combination of them too. If you wanted to do what you just did and find the you know, forms of that, you could do your up arrow and just have Amy added in place of the asterisk. Exactly. Yes, yeah, so I can go back to here and I'm going to... Just don't delete that period in the front, though. It'll clear your whole search out. Okay. Okay. But I can go here, though, and I can delete that and I can type in Amy. Lock on. But then it's the present tense. Yeah, it's a drop down. Yeah, it was a drop down. So when, and the escape key, by the way, if you have that pop-up box and you want to get rid of that, hit the escape key once, and that clears out that, that uh, pop-up helper. Okay. So there I just typed in Amy, and I can find out where every place where that occurs. And there it is, 447 bucks. Okay. So, and by the way, this works in all of your Greek versions. It doesn't have to be just... Just Bible can be an apostolic fathers, can be Old Testament pseudepigrapha, any of those things. It works the same way across the across the board, and it works that way in Hebrew too. Uh, we can go to the Hebrew text. I'm going to go to. It works the same way here. Um, let's go to let's go to Genesis 1:1. Okay, and I have my the Hebrew morphology looks even even worse than the Greek in some ways. Mm -hmm. um, because here's my text, okay? Here I have Barashit Bara Elohim. Um, let's go to Barashit. Okay, Hebrew, um, it's unique because you have your prefixes and suffixes. And when you look down here further, here's the bait, very first item. Then here's the Rashit. But the, in the inflected form, they're together. They're, if you double click on that, it's going to search on that, that word, prefix attached to it. But when you come here to search on lemmas, you have to make a choice. Either the bait or the the receipt. They're both considered lemmas. And then you have your codes after it as well. But let's uh, I'm gonna double click on WTM here to make it my search version. Okay, and now I'm gonna type period and let's start with uh let's see if we can do this. Ray Okay, remember you can't you can't remember how to type this? There's a way to do it. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to append to command line. And it works in the lemma in the morphology too. Okay, it's gonna copy the lemma over there. Okay, now Hebrew here, you have your your cursor has to be on this side. If you're typing, your cursor may end up here towards the period. See where my cursor is? Mm -hmm. Okay. It has to be on the right side. Remember, the background is all text file. It's not Hebrew. Okay. So you have to think like a computer in a little bit. Um, it becomes second like nature after you use it a few times. You kind of know where it goes. Here's where I type the at sign. Okay. So here it's going to be a noun. And it's going to be either common or proper. Let's do common. Say I don't care if it's masculine or feminine. I'm going to put my log card here and hit enter. And there we go. So here we have all of our all of our hits for that. Uh, they're all in ray sheet, but we have a variety of, in, of inflected for, or, uh, parsing forms here. Okay. So it works the same way whether it's Greek or whether it's whether it's uh, Hebrew. Any questions on that? And by the way, this, you can work with the morphology codes the same way. You know, we, as we showed here, you have your all your different options here as well. So. You have the WTT open, mm -hmm. but then you loaded the <laughs> lemma. Mm -hmm. When you loaded the lemma, it immediately switched you over to the morphology form because that's where the lemmas are coming from. Yes. Uh, even when I'm even if I even if I right click 
Say I right click on the WPT, which is the text form, right? Mm -hmm. And I search on a lemma, and actually in the background it's searching morphology. Okay. It's searching the companion version. That's a pop-up WTM. Notice both of them here are going to be, yeah, the search version there is WTM. Right. Okay. Because I, I cannot find those inflected forms, or I'm sorry, those lemmas in the WTT. There's no lemmas in the WTT text form. Right. Okay. So it's a little different than printed studies. We're used to printed studies, printed books, um, but computers work a little differently. But once you get to know how they operate, you can do lots of things you can never do in print. You just keep working with it. I could, you know, I'd say begin with uh, you know, context menu searching in the browse window. Um, look at some of the videos. We do have videos on Greek and Hebrew uh, morphological searching. Watch through those. Try different things. You're not going to break the computer. Um, so. I can break Bible words. Just go ahead and uh, work through it and try it. And uh, you know, once you get the hang of it, uh, I, I never search an inflected text anymore. Because I can do so much more in uh, morphology than I could ever do an inflected text. The only thing I ever do an inflected text is to read. So, you don't want to read those. Anybody want to read this morphology version? No. <laughs> Isn't that fun? By the way, don't, hear, don't go to browse mode here when you have a morphology version. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, you want to switch back to a text version before you go reading that. So.